Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this video today where we're talking about how to calculate the area of trapezoids, rhombi, and kites. Uh, the formulas are pretty simple. You actually already know the trapezoid formula from back in middle school, so this shouldn't feel like something completely brand new. And then really nice part is the formula for area of a rhombus or a kite is identical, so you only have that one little formula to know. So first of all, for a trapezoid, the formulas are the formula is rather the area is one half times the height h. Okay, that's where the height would be. We already know the height is always the altitude. The altitude is always created at a 90 degree angle and it's perpendicular to the base. And we have two bases, base one and base two and B1, B2. And it doesn't matter B1, B2, they're interchangeable as far as their location goes. B1 doesn't have to be the smaller uh, base or the larger base, it doesn't really matter. But they're just both bases. That's it. And I'm going to show you how to plug those numbers in, evaluate it correctly so we get the right answer, and then you're good to go. For a rhombus or a kite, the formula is 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Now the diagonals, they're in no special order. So D1, D2, D1 could be like the horizontal or the longer one. D2 could be the vertical or whatever it could possibly be. And the other diagram, I have D1 and D2 labeled in a different way. It really doesn't matter which one it is. You're just basically multiplying the diagonals together and then chopping that number in half. And then you have your area for that. And it works with rhombus or a kite. Now, remember a couple things to remember about a rhombus and a kite. Um, when the diagonals of a rhombus intersect each other in the center of the rhombus, it bisects those diagonals. So each diagonal is cut into two congruent segments. So this segment and this segment are congruent, as well as this segment and this segment are congruent. Now in a kite, it's a little different, but part of it's the same. The two diagonals bisect each other at a 90 degree angle, just like in a rhombus, but only one of the diagonals is bisected. Okay, so this diagonal is bisected but this one, we can clearly see the top portion is not congruent to the bottom portion. Um, and then obviously the sides here all match up. They are congruent as well. So let's take a look at trapezoids here at the top. First one's a really nice problem because I'm given my height H, it's six, and I'm given my two bases, seven and 10. So if I go ahead and I plug those numbers into my formula, it's one half times my height of six multiplied by the sum of my bases, so 7, 10, and 7. Now, I simplify it a little differently than maybe how you would, but I'm going to show you half of 6 is 3, 7 plus 10 is 17, so it's really just 3 times 17, and it's 51 units. You could always multiply 1 half times 6 and get 3, distribute the 3. There's so many different ways you're all going to get the same answer. Here, um, one half the height. So this trapezoid kind of looks like it's tilted on its side from our classic diagram, but our height is still this dotted line and I don't have the value for it. But what I do see is that the height has created this little 30, 60, 90 triangle. And I know it's a 30, 60. To see that little 30, I know this is a right angle and that would have to be 60. The side opposite the 30 always gets multiplied by radical three to get the side opposite the 60. So if this is four, then my height here is actually four radical three. That's another one of those rules from your 30, 60, 90 triangles. So now I can plug my values in. So this is one half equals four radical three, my base of five, my entire base length here of 12. Half of four radical three is two radical three, five plus 12 is 17. It's just a coincidence that it was also 17 here. And then if I multiply that out and I round to my nearest tenths place, I get 58.9 units squared. This one here, this is a right trapezoid. So what ends up happening here in a right trapezoid is you have two right angles in the trapezoid. Um, that would signify that this 6.5 is actually my height. I have a base of nine, but now this base here. So what happens inside of a right trapezoid is you end up having this built-in rectangle. I have this hypotenuse of 7, and the side opposite the 30 is half of it. So this little segment here is 3.5. So it would be 1 half times 6.5 is my height, times the base of 9, plus this entire base would be 9 plus that 3.5. 
half of 6.5 is 3.25. Add that up, I get 21.5. And when I multiply them together, rounded to the tenths place, I get 69.9 units squared. This last one, if a trapezoid has a height of 5, a base of 6, and an area of 48 units squared, find the other base. So if I go ahead and I plug those numbers in, what I really am trying to find are one of the bases. And it doesn't matter where I put the 6 or the x. It doesn't matter if I'm solving for base 1 or base 2. It would mean the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 in order to get rid of this half. I'm then going to distribute my 5 and then simply solve for x. And that's my answer. Rombi and kites, same formula, 1 half uh, diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So here I see my diagonals are 8 and 12. So this one ends up being a really easy problem. It's just 48 units squared. This one here, something I reminded you about kites, that one of the diagonals is bisected. So if this is 4, then this other part is 4. So I have a diagonal of 8, a diagonal of 10, and I get an area of 40 units squared. Now this last one here, I know this is 3. It's a rhombus. If this is 3, then this is 3, but I need to find this length here. Now, I know that in a right triangle, I could have a 3, 4, 5 triangle, which would be perfect for this right triangle, so this would have to be 4. I'm just kind of cheating. Instead of doing 3 squared plus x squared equals 5 squared and solving. Um, if this is 4, then this is 4. So my uh, diagonal here is 6, my diagonal here is 8, and I get 24 units squared. If a kite has a diagonal of 6 and an area of 48 units, find the other diagonal. So 48 would be equal to 1 half times 6 times x, which really is 48 equals 3x, and then x equals 16. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching.